Welcome to Chris 2A Gear Reviews. And in under five minutes, I'm going to try to explain to you why I went with the STAC Kiwi 1 Plus 2. When we say 1 Plus 2, one rifle magazine, AR-15, two pistol magazine. Designed to go on your belt. The belt that it's going to be going on is the Koi Essentials Battle Belt. An excellent battle belt. My favorite and preferred go-to battle belt, Koi Essentials. With that being said, let's go ahead and take it out of the packaging. We are not going to be doing an install video. Now, when I purchased this from off of Amazon, they have two different versions you can get. You can get one version that has the malice clips, or you can get the version that don't have the malice clips. Of course, I'm going to suggest you go ahead and get the malice clips. You do get four. I have one on the battle belt kind of marking off where I need to start at. So you do get four for your four slots on the back. So you do get four malice clips. One is already on there marking where I need to start at. So with that being said, let's go ahead and test the retention. Now for the retention, it has a wedge inside there. And when I tell you that that wedge retains your magazines, it retains your magazines. 40 round of... Uh, 40 round P-Mag loaded with 39 rounds of 55 grain full metal jacket. Listen, and look how tight it is going in there. Ooh. Ugh. It's locked into it. Good and tight how it's supposed to be. Let's do our shake test. That thing ain't going nowhere. Ugh. So we test that out. The AR-15 portion, good, tight, solid lockup. Let's test the pistol. We're going to test the pistol. We're going to drop a whole 30 round Glock magazine in there. Uh-oh, hold up now. There we go. Let's test this one. Now granted, this is a 30 round Glock magazine, and there's, most people wouldn't run no 30 round Glock magazine on no belt rig. I just wanted to put it to its maximum test. Making sure it's all the way seated down in there. It holds the magazine. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get it mounted up on the belt, and I'll show you what it look like, and that'll be the end of the video. And this is what it looks like. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and complete the full installation because what I need to do is actually put this belt on my person and see if I'm able to scoot it up one more slot. That'll let me get one more of these magazine pouches for the AR-15 right here. Then I can have my two 40-round P-mags on my belt. So I need to play around and adjust some things. So I'm not going to lock it all the way down. But as you see, this is where it sits. Sits low on the belt line not too high not too low good and locked in not a whole lot of slop once you actually go ahead and fully put it on there you're not going to get no whole lot of slop on there because you can see already it's not a whole lot of slop and it's not even fully connected so yeah in under five minutes i just wanted to come on here and tell y'all this is a very good option if you got the koi sensors battle belt and you're looking for the perfect magazine pouch combination for this battle belt, the STAC Kiwi is exactly what you want. Good retention, sits even and flush to the belt line, so it makes it a good, nice draw when you need your magazines. Once you fully lock it down, you have a good, tight, secure fit. Nothing bad to say about it. Y'all be blessed, be safe, I'm out. Let me go ahead and put this stuff on and start playing with it and see how I'm going to organize it. Because I need to get me one more of these on here. One more. If I can't get it right here, I need to move this over right here. And then that will give me the space right here.